Preparation of ethers via alkoxymercuration demercuration. First, let's review two ways that we learned to make ethers so far. Acid-catalyzed dehydration of an alcohol is a great way to make symmetric ethers. So for instance, if I took ethanol and react it with concentrated H2SO4 and heat, I get diethyl ether, right? Symmetric ethers. If I want an asymmetric ether, I use the Williamson ether synthesis, where I take a more substituted alcohol, like isopropanol, and I react it with first sodium hydride, and second with a less substituted alkyl halide, like ethyl bromide, then I end up with isopropyl ethyl ether, an asymmetric ether. Alkoxymercuration demercuration is similar to oxymercuration demercuration. This reaction shown here is oxymercuration demercuration, where our substrate is an alkene, and we react it with mercuric acetate and water followed by sodium borohydride. And this gives us a Markovnikov alcohol. Instead of water for alkoxymercuration demercuration, I use an alcohol. And this will give me a Markovnikov ether. Let's look at the mechanism. In the first step, the pi bond of the alkene acts like a nucleophile and attacks the mercury ion. An acetate leaves, and then we have a third curved arrow that represents back attack. The intermediate formed in the first step is a cyclic three-membered cation called a mercurinium cation. We should note we also form the enantiomer, where the mercury is on a wedge instead of on dashes. In the second step, we're going to have nucleophilic attack by the alcohol at the more substituted ring carbon, because that one has more partial positive charge. So here's our alcohol acting as a nucleophile going after that more substituted ring carbon, and that opens up the ring. Now, this would look just the same if we were doing oxymercuration demercuration, except there would be an H here instead of an R. So here's the product we get. Here's the alcohol that added anti to the mercury and we should note that we're also going to get the enantiomer here and then the rest of the, me the, rest of the mechanism isn't important that is the demercuration which we accomplished with sodium borohydride Here's an exercise for you to try out. Pause while you work it. Then when you're ready, you can come and see my answer. Here's my answer. So what we've done is we've added an ethoxy group, Markovnikov on the alkene. So we want to do alkoxymercuration demercuration, and the alcohol we use is going to be ethanol. So the series of reagents for the alkoxymercuration step 
We'll use mercuric acetate, HgOAC2, and we'll use ethanol, and then we'll do the demercuration with sodium borohydride.